Hello, friends. Um, you know, I'm wanting to talk about books again. Uh, big shock to all of you that actually know me. Um, I did have a YouTube channel that I started, but I switched to podcasting and I hate editing. I hate editing so, so bad. Um, so I'm not sure that I will ever pick the podcasting back up. I am writing a lot too. So I haven't been doing a lot of any of that kind of thing. Um, COVID has made all of it really hard. And I think we all know how that goes. But I've just decided during COVID that I really hate editing. <laughs> And you're just going to get the videos as I say them and make them and all of that stuff. I probably won't have any flashy visuals or flashy, you know, music or anything going across the screen. I just really, really hate editing. Um, so there we are. I'm in a new house. I'm able to set up my library now that is all like every single wall has books and it is delightful and exciting. And it is finally the thing that I've always wanted. So, um... I will also be setting up a bookshop.org uh, bookstore. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because it helps me help independent bookshops nationwide. So every purchase you make, a uh, percentage of that goes to bookstore, independent bookstores nationwide. And it also helps me as a creator um, as I write and I review and I help you all um, with content that, you know, hopefully you like and let, you know, let's, Big thing is that we all get to help bookstores nationwide. So um, I want to talk to you about books, not that I think you should be reading, but books that I just enjoy, which means that you're going to have weird combinations of things. I'm, I'm going to get to the book that I've been reading, but I was going through my library and I'm getting up close because I'm in my pink velvet wheelie chair that I got from my office because I was just noticing I'm looking at all behind you are uh, memoir in history and Texas history. And I'm noticing to my delight, that you have things like, you have Tobias Wolf, right? You, this Boy's Life with the half price books cover covering it up, um, price tag covering it up. But This Boy's Life is literary memoir. Uh, everybody knows it also as a, a movie that was really amazing that came out with Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro um, a long time ago. Um, but it is kind of sort of the quintessential literary memoir, right? Okay, so that's there. But what do I have next to it? And this will give you an idea of the sort of eclectic mix of stuff you might find on this channel. What's next to it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Growing Up Brady. Growing Up Brady is out of print. You can still find it, of course, from used booksellers. But that just gives you an idea of the mix of things that you might find on this channel. So um, all of it fun, my friends. All of it fun. We don't all have to read Dostoevsky in order to say that we've lived. Um, so anyway, what have I been reading? I've been listening to audiobooks. I'm, you know, I have my Audible account and I have, you know, audiobooks that I own that I purchase. Um, I was listening to The Ghost Bride, which is going to be on Netflix, I think next week. And I will uh, link to the trailer. But Ghost Bride uh, takes place in what was historically Malaysia. And it involves the idea of a woman being asked by a man's family who, you know, a man who died, he, she's asked by his family if she will marry his ghost because his ghost is not at peace. And um, there's a bit of a murder mystery involved with this, but you know, if that may be fine, marrying a ghost may be fine. If you have no interest in marriage, your family will be set up financially. You will be set up financially for the rest of your life. And you can kind of just do whatever you want after that. However, if there is somebody out there that you want in your life, maybe marrying a ghost is going to, you know, tie your hands and going to make everything more difficult. So it was a fascinating, fascinating read. Historically, um, it, it, it talked a lot about a lot of things I didn't know about that part of the world. And I thought that was really fascinating. Um, so I am definitely going to be looking up more works from um, Hyung Si Chu, who is the author, and I will absolutely have her in my bookshop shop. My bookshop shop, by the way, for those of y'all who are curious, is going to be www.bookshop.org slash shop slash apples and spindles. So the book that I've been reading, which is absolutely delightful, is Beach Read. Um, here we go. 
Can you see the whole thing? Beach Read by Emily Henry. Um, it was a massive book last year. A lot of you probably already know it. Um, something that you're also going to find on this channel just for future reference is things on a backlist. I'm not committed to just doing new releases. I absolutely believe in promoting a backlist. Um, this is not backlist, though. This is still considered a new release. And I got this through my book of the month. Um, this was one of my book of the month picks. Um, and I enjoy doing that just because, it, you know, again, it's hard to get to a bookshop. Um, and it's just sort of like the adult version of a scholastic book fair. It's like, ooh, what's coming in the mail? What I look forward to the first of every month so I can see what... Um, what's going to be in, on book of the month that I can pick from. So anyway, um, but this has been an absolute delight. Um, if you're a writer, you will like that each character is a writer. She writes romance. He writes um, sort of suspenseful literary fiction and they're, they've each sort of lost their writing mojo. And so they challenge each other. Um, she challenges him to write a romance. He challenges her to write the book that he would write or the sort of book that he would write. And it's it just proves to be a really cool and interesting challenge. It is a little bit of enemies to lovers. So it's kind of fun. Um, low stakes, though. You don't have a whole lot of like crazy angst, which whew, I really don't need in COVID times. Um, so it's really been nice to read something that's just sort of a delightful read. And that's I had heard about this on Faded Mates and Sarah McLean was just talking about, which is what a nice read this was. Um, and just a kind of uh, high stakes or sometimes just something I really don't want to deal with in high stress times in our world. So it was just kind of a nice palate cleanser to all the garbage going on out there. Um, so that said, I will go ahead and link to this book also in my bookshop shop. Keep Stay tuned. I'll see what else I talk about. Let's see how often I keep doing this. I don't really know. It's um, but I do I do miss my book friends and book people. So hopefully you enjoy it, and hopefully you pick up some beach read. All right, or and ghost bride too. Thanks so much.